The Preschool Language Scale 4th Edition, also known as the PLS4, created by Antonia Stack, Mike Iger, Kathleen Zori, Laura Stanowitz, and Rachel Vane. Preschool the Preschool Language Scale 4th Edition is an individually administered test. The purpose of the test is to identify children who have a language disorder or delay. The purpose of the PLS-4 is explicitly stated in the test manual on page 2. The test construct is based on two subparts. The first one is auditory comprehension and the second is expressive communication. The test is divided into two subgroups in order to assess a client's expressive and receptive skills separately. The child receives a score on both sections and they are combined for an overall score. There are also three supplemental assessments, which are not standardized, however, can be used to determine why and possibly how well a child's presenting language is functioning. These three assessments are the language sample checklist, the articulation screener, and the caregiver questionnaire. The PLS-4 was normed on 1,564 children, ranging from ages 2 days to 6 years, 11 months. Within each age level, there were approximately 50% male and 50% female. The norming sample was based upon the 2000 U.S. Census of Population and included geographic region, race, and the primary caregiver's education level. The PLS-4 included additional characteristics that were not based on the 2000 Census, including the child's learning environment, languages spoken by the child, English dialects spoken by the child, and the percentage of the sample reporting identified conditions and diagnosis. Testing materials. There are four materials included in the test package. One, examiner's manual. Two, picture manual. Three, record form. And four, manipulatives. Examiner's manual. The examiner's manual contains detailed information about administration, scoring, and interpretation procedures. It also contains information about research, test development, and technical qualities. It is used to acquaint an administrator with the PLS-4 to ensure a smooth testing process. It is 276 pages long and explains the purpose and usage of the other test materials. Picture Manual. The picture manual contains the color, picture stimuli necessary for administrating many of the test items. It is spiral bound and has an easel back to facilitate ease of use during administration. The manual has 104 pages. 66 of the pages are used for the auditory comprehension portion of the test. The remaining 38 pages are used for the expressive communication portion of the test. The pictures in the manual are used to illustrate concepts that are tested. The record form contains abbreviated directions for administering, recording, and scoring test items. It is 20 pages in length and includes pass criterion for all numbered tasks. There is also a practice exercise included at the beginning of many numbered tasks. These exercises are meant to orient a child with what is expected from them for each activity. There is a divider on each page that separates the auditory comprehension and expressive communication tasks. The tasks progress in accordance with the child's age. An age range is located at the top of each page to ensure the administration of developmentally appropriate material. Fifteen record forms are included with the initial shipment of the test. The form also includes aforementioned supplemental measures, including articulation screener, language sample checklist, and caregiver questionnaire. The articulatory screener tests a child's articulation of 19 speech sounds in the initial or final position of words. It is typically two minutes or less to administer and all test items are administered regardless of the child's age. The child is told that they are going to play a word game and scores are recorded next to the words. A score of 1 indicates that the child correctly articulated a target phoneme, while a score of 0 indicates that a child incorrectly articulated a target phoneme. The language sample checklist measures a child's spontaneous speech. It also measures a child's language form, content, use, and intelligibility. 50 utterances are required of the child and it could take 15 to 60 minutes depending on the child. The caregiver questionnaire is a form that can be given to parents, caregivers, and so on. It can be used for children 35 months or younger. Questions relate to child's communication behaviors at home, at daycare, and so on. It finds how receptive and expressive language skills from PLS tasks are demonstrated in an outside environment. The manipulatives included in the package are used to facilitate interactions with the child. 
23 manipulatives are included in the test package and are as follows. One ball, five blocks, one set of bowls, one box, two cars, one cloth, three cups, one set of keys on ring, one paper, one set of rattles, one sealable bag, three spoons, one squeaky toy, one teddy pair, and one set of wind-up toys. The above chart shows the manipulatives that will be used for each age group. Note, the chart lists two additional manipulative requirements, cracker slash snack, and toys and books. These are not included in the test package and must be acquired elsewhere. The caregiver should be asked about snacks and toys that their child enjoys before getting the materials. The score sheet is organized into two subscales, AC and EC. The AC subscale has 62 numbered tasks and the EC subscale has 68 numbered tasks. The obtained information is ultimately combined into the total language score. Normed reference scores are also shown, including standard score, standard score confidence band, percentile rank, and percentile rank confidence band. A section is also included to record supplemental measures. The ways of recording answers varies depending on a child's age. Children 17 months or younger may give single answer responses. The three choices indicate the source of the information, either elicited, spontaneous, or caregiver. Multiple choices can be selected for each task. Children 17 months or older only have tasks that allow for elicited responses. The AC and EC subscales have a box in the top left-hand corner of each numbered task. If a child passes according to the criterion, then a 1 is recorded into the box next to the task. If a child does not pass according to the criterion, then a 0 is recorded into the box next to the task. How to score PLS4. First step, calculating the raw score. Take the number of the last administered task and subtract it by the number of zeros to get the subscale raw score. You will have to do this twice, once for the AC and again for EC. Second step, find norm reference scores. Take the raw score and cross-reference it with the age-appropriate subscale tables, all of which are located in Appendix A in the examiner's manual between tables A1 and A16. Step 3, compute total language score. Use Appendix A in the examiner's manual, Table A17, to find the standard scores from the AC and EC subscales, then add them together. Fourth step, find total language standard score and percentile ranks. Use the sum of the subscales to find the total language standard score, total language score confidence bands, total language percentile rank, and total language percentile rank confidence bands. Step 5, graph the results. Put the retrieved scores on the graph on the front of the record form. Molly is a five-year, six-month-old girl who was diagnosed with autism at age two. Molly lives at home with her parents and six-year-old brother who has had a normal development. Molly is the product of a normal, full, and healthy pregnancy and delivery. Her parents first became concerned when, by six months, she still wasn't making eye contact. Her parents continued to monitor her and became concerned about their daughter having autism when, by age one, Molly wasn't babbling or pointing and was unresponsive to people. With age, Molly began showing more and more signs of having autism. Molly continues to have impaired social interactions and lacks focus in almost all activities. Molly began receiving speech therapy upon receiving the diagnosis of autism at the age of two years. It has been noted that Molly has limited facial expressions, doesn't respond consistently to her name, and makes repetitious movements, such as rocking her body back and forth. Molly will occasionally demonstrate self-abuse by hitting her head with her hands. Molly's greatest source of comfort is playing with her hair, which she does often. Molly's speech and language skills are delayed mainly in the length of her utterances and proper use of tenses, but she is showing signs of improvement. Here is an excerpt from the auditory comprehension part of the test. Molly, I want you to look at all the dogs. All right, find the big brown dog. Okay, great job. Molly, point to the small black dog. Good. And point to the big white dog. Molly, point up. Okay, great. Molly, Molly, look at all the animals. Which animal has the longest nose? Okay, great job. Which animal has a long, thin tail? 
Fantastic. Molly, which animal has pointed ears? All right, great job, Molly. Molly, here is a carrot, a t-shirt, shorts, and a dress. One of these things doesn't go with the others. Tell me which one doesn't belong with the others, Molly. Okay, and can you tell me what you just pointed to? Carrot. Great job, Molly. Molly, here is a glass, an orange, an apple, and a banana. Which one of these does not belong with the others? Okay, and what, what did you point to? Cup. Okay, great job, Molly. Molly, here is a car, a truck, a boat, and a chair. Which one of these does not belong with the others? Chair. All right, great job. Now, Molly, here is a book, a pencil, a mark, uh, paintbrush, and a marker. Which one of these does not belong with the others? Book. Book, fantastic. Molly, look at the baskets. Which basket has three puppies? All right, good job, Molly. Now, Molly, look at the plates of strawberries. Which plate has five strawberries? All right, fantastic. Molly, show me your elbow. All right, good job. Show me your forehead. All right, good job, Molly. Molly, show me your eyelashes. Okay, great. Molly, show me your wrist. Okay, good job, Molly. Here is an excerpt from the expressive communication part of the test. Good job, Molly. Okay, Molly, look at these pictures. The girl is skating. Now she has finished. Tell me what she did. She... Skate. Okay, great job. Okay, now look at these pictures, Molly. Molly, right here. Okay, so right now, she is washing her hands. Now she is finished. Tell me what she did. She... Wash hands. Okay, fantastic. Now look at these pictures, Molly. In this picture, the... Uh, Molly, in this picture, the ice cream is melting. Tell me what happened to the ice cream in this, this picture. It... Melts. Okay, great job, Molly. Molly. Molly, the girl is catching the ball. Tell me what she did. Catching. Catch. Okay, fantastic. The boy is drawing a picture. Now he's done. Tell me what he did. He... Draw. Draw. Okay, great. Okay. 
down here, the boy is falling off of the bike. Okay, tell me what happened. He... Fall off bike. All right, fantastic, Molly. Okay, Molly, Molly, look at this picture. Linda is getting ready to go to the store with her mother. She can't find her other shoe. What should she ask her mother? She could ask her mother, can you help me find my shoe? Now, in this picture, Molly, Darlene wants to help her sister pass out cups. What should she ask her sister? Help. Okay, good job, Molly. Molly, in this picture, Kathy wants to play outside. What could she ask her father? Play outside. Okay, great job. In this picture, Matt needs help tying his shoe. What should he ask his sister? Help. Okay, good job. Molly, we're going to talk about uh, two things that are alike. Okay, a spoon. Where's the spoon? No spoons. <laughs> <laughs> we might do that.